Welcome to Sony Ericsson Support. In this video, we'll give you an overview of the different ways to transfer context to your new phone and help you decide which method is right for you. There are several ways your context can be transferred. Your Xperia Android phone is designed to be connected and one of the best uses of this is contact management. When connected to an online contact service like Sony Ericsson Sync or Google Contacts, you can effortlessly keep your contacts up to date. When set up, you can not only reach your contacts from your phone, but from any computer that has access to a web browser. Add or edit contacts on your phone and they'll automatically change online and vice versa each time you sync. Another benefit is that when you get a new phone, you simply have to log into your online contact service and all your contacts will appear in your new phone. Let's have a look at two of the most popular services for online contacts, Sony Ericsson Sync and Google Contacts. With Sony Ericsson Sync, you can get help transferring contacts. Sony Ericsson Sync supports transfer from all Sony Ericsson phone models and many LG, Samsung and Nokia models as well, with more added over time. If you have an old phone, Sony Ericsson Sync will guide you through the process of transferring your contacts and syncing them to your new phone. The Android operating system is tightly interconnected with Google services, such as Google Contacts. You can transfer your contacts to Google Contacts from a variety of sources, including Outlook and other mail applications, OS X address book and iTunes. When done, you can set up your phone to automatically sync with Google Contacts on the fly using push technology or synchronize manually if you wish. The benefits of having your contacts online are great, but the sync consumes data. Make sure that you have an appropriate data plan for your phone or your mobile operator's data charges will apply. If your workplace uses Microsoft Exchange, all Xperia Android phones have support for active sync, either as bundled third-party applications or built into the system. Now, let's have a look at offline contact transfer. If you have your contacts on a SIM or micro SD card, you can put these in your new phone and import. If your old phone is Bluetooth enabled, there's a good chance you can transfer your contacts wirelessly from your old phone. Please note, these methods may have some limitations. Since different phones store contacts in different ways, not all information will be transferred correctly. This is not the preferred way to transfer contacts, but can be useful if you have no internet access. No matter how you have transferred your contacts, you have the option of linking your social network contacts from Facebook and Twitter directly to your regular contacts. Starting with Android 2.1, you can see your friend's status updates where your contacts are stored. Thank you for taking the time to view this film, and we hope that it's helped you find the best solution for you. Please view the following link for more in-depth information on the different ways of transferring contacts.